Ever wondered how you can invest your $100? Make sure you watch until the end for more money-making and money-saving content. It might seem like a small amount, but there are still some options you can consider. From starting an emergency fund, exploring micro-investing apps or trying out stock index mutual funds, to making contributions to your 401, K, or IRA, or even consolidating and paying off debt. Each of these avenues offers unique opportunities for growth and financial security. Remember, investing is not just for the wealthy, every dollar counts. Let's delve into the first option. Firstly, consider starting an emergency fund. The importance of having a financial safety net cannot be overstated. Life, as we know, is full of uncertainties. A car breakdown, a sudden illness, a job loss. These unexpected expenses can crop up at any time. Having an emergency fund can provide you with a financial cushion, ensuring you're not caught off guard. Now, you might wonder, where should you keep this emergency fund? A high-yield savings account or a money market fund are excellent choices. These options offer a safe haven for your money, shielding it from market volatility. They might not provide you with substantial returns, but their primary purpose is to safeguard your cash, not to generate high profits. So if you're looking to invest that $100, starting an emergency fund could be a sensible first step. While it won't earn much interest, it's a safe and smart place to park your $100. Next up, micro-investing apps or robo-advisors. These are digital platforms that allow you to invest with just a few dollars, or even just spare change. The beauty of these apps is that they take the complexity out of investing. You simply deposit your money, and their sophisticated algorithms do the rest, managing your investments based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Some of the popular micro-investing apps include Acorns and Stash. Acorns, for instance, rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar and invests the difference. Stash, on the other hand, allows you to invest as little as $5 in a range of stocks, bonds, and ETFs. These platforms democratize investing, making it accessible to everyone, regardless of their financial knowledge or resources. These platforms are perfect for beginners and those who prefer to invest small amounts regularly. Now let's talk about stock index mutual funds or ETFs. Picture this, instead of buying a single stock and taking on the risk associated with it, you invest that $100 into a basket of stocks. That's essentially what a stock index mutual fund or an exchange traded fund, ETF, is. It's a pool of multiple stocks, mirroring a particular index like the S&P 500. The beauty of this approach is you can buy fractional shares. That means, even with just $100, you can own a tiny piece of hundreds of different companies. This is a great way to spread your risk and potentially enjoy the overall growth of the market. Moreover, these funds typically have lower costs compared to actively managed funds, making them an attractive option for smaller investments. So, if you're looking for an investment option that offers diversification and affordability, consider low-cost index mutual funds, or ETFs. This option offers a cost-effective way to diversify your investment with just $100. Lastly, we have 401k, or IRA, contributions and debt consolidation. If you're fortunate to have a workplace 401k or an individual retirement account, contributing that $100 can be a small but significant step towards your retirement savings. Why, you might ask? Well, these contributions are often tax-deductible, and the funds grow tax-free until you withdraw them in retirement. It's like planting a sapling today and reaping the fruits years later. But what if you're saddled with high-interest debt, like those pesky credit card balances? Here's a thought. Consider using your $100 to pay it down. Yes, you heard that right. Reducing debt is indeed a form of financial investment. It's all about perspective, isn't it? When you pay off debt, especially high interest ones, you're effectively earning a return equal to the interest rate you would have otherwise paid. It's as if you're investing in a risk-free bond with a guaranteed rate of return. Quite the clever move, don't you think? Lastly, let's talk about debt consolidation. It's a strategy that combines multiple debts into a single, larger piece of debt, usually with more favorable payoff terms like a lower interest rate, lower monthly payment, or both. It can be another smart way to use your $100. Remember, even small amounts can grow over time. Consider your financial goals and risk tolerance when deciding where to invest your $100. Make sure to O-like, share, subscribe, and comment for more money-making tips from Money Mastery.